Greetings, viewers of the world. My name is Cynthia. I'm from Ebony Park in Midrand. I'm here in Charis Adulam in Midrand. Um, the reason why I came is because there are a lot of challenges that I have been facing since, I can say since I grew up. So my desire was to come here until this year I decided that I just have to sacrifice some way and then I come here. Okay, the challenges that I've been facing, um, first is stagnation. I can say there was nothing that was moving in my life, nothing at all. Um, when it comes to education, I had to force it and then until I finished. When it comes to job, yeah, also. So I came here with regard of the job and my relationship. Because as for the relationship-wise, yes, there's a lot of challenges that I'm facing right now. So this is one of the reasons why I'm here. Okay, so first technician that I was facing is job-related. Um, after my studies, I decided to just give it a try and look for a job, but I was not ready for a job by that time. I wanted to continue with my studies. Then I got a job, and then I started working around 2020. Since I started working in that company since 2020, I've never received a promotion, no salary increase. So I felt like there's a stagnation because each and every time when we have, um, I can say, new people coming to the company, it will be only them will get promotion and salary increase and then I'll be left behind. So uh, until I told myself that um, I want to quit, I want to leave this job because I was not feeling happy anymore. In fact, the environment itself for me it was very toxic. Then uh, before I leave the job, I decided to come to church. So that's why, I went, that's why I'm here. It's one of those things. So when it comes to the relationship-wise, mm, at the first place, I can't say that it was that bad. It was just fine, but not good at all. So um, after I met this guy, in fact, I got a prophecy. It was last year from Prophet Andres prophesying me about marriage. I think it was last year, September. Yes. So when he prophesied me about marriage at that moment, I was like, no, marriage from where? Because I'm not in a relationship and I was not ready for a relationship. And then September, October, and then I met someone here at church. And then that person went home and paid Lobola. So I think everything started after Lobola. Because I've never been happy since this marriage started, since we got married. So that's why if, if now... When Prophet told me that I'm even thinking of going back home, it's true. I was considering going back home because I felt like I got married, but I'm not happy. Yes, so this is one of the stagnations. Emotionally, I can say it's affected me too much because I'm not happy. I'm always stressed. Sometimes there's a time whereby I will just sit alone, then I will start crying. Because when I think of whatever that has happened in the past and now, so it affected me very much emotionally. I'm not okay. I was not okay, in fact, but now I'm okay. Because now I know the reason why everything was happening like that. So I'm feeling relieved. Okay. My one-on-one -on -one session with Prophet Andres, I, I was nervous because I didn't know how it would go. Because sometimes I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm ready for everything that is going to tell me. So likely... Everything that I'm here for, he told me about it. First, it was about my relationship. Um, he told me that uh, now I'm thinking of leaving this person because I'm not happy. Because I can say, as he said, that he's abusing me, yes, emotionally, but not physically. So I was considering this, that I want to leave him. But, you know, when you think of leaving him now, you have to think about family. Because the family now, they know each other, they met and other stuff. So that's what he told me first. Yes, when it comes to this uh, relationship, he told me that um, after he will pray for me for this marriage to work. Because the way it is, it's like there's no happiness at all. So he prayed for me. After praying for me, he told me that he will get married. Because he paid lovers and then he will get married. So another thing is it was... Okay, it was job related. He was telling me about the job that I've applied everywhere, many places. I got a call, I went for interviews, but I've never received a feedback, which was true. 
So he told me that, yeah, I must expect a job. So right now I'm just, I'm waiting here. Just, I know that soon I'm going to give a testimony about a job. Oh, another thing was just about uh, my, my, my siblings. Yes, that all of us, it seems like we have been caged somewhere. So there's a stagnation. There's a lot of challenges that we're facing. And which is true, it's true. It's true because I can say that whenever we try to push this side, and then something, this other side will collapse. So there's nothing that is moving in our lives. It, uh, in another way, I can say that in other words, what if we want to get something, we have to struggle first before we get what we want. So yeah, there's a, it's a struggle. It's a struggle, yes, I can say that. I'm happy, uh, maybe because at least I managed this. Uh, it was my desire. Since January, I wanted to come here. So I'm happy because at least I managed to see men of God and then he spoke a word unto my life. I know that from today my life has changed. Um, so I'm happy. I want to encourage everyone who is giving up in life that, you know, sometimes you must not give up until you hear what God is saying about your life. It's not easy, yes, but sometimes we just have to put our trust in God. And then uh, if it uh, can say when it comes to savings, yeah, you can try. If I can tell you I've saved to a point whereby this other week I can say last week I was like you are running even food but if I can take 1000 on that money but you know the devil always shows you some of the things that needs to be done by the man that you are saving so I can say that you have to trust in God always pray that God must guide you and lead you you're not going to the pharmacy buy
Stomach. Leave the stomach, you demon! <laughs> 